Uh, hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Devoid. Uh, we're back here on the Allium server season six. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining some of the donor perks that you may uh, be getting if you donate to the server. I know that there's been a lot of confusion about how some of these things work, so I figured I'd make a video to address that. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with just normal donor perks as opposed to donor plus this one is actually like helpful in seeing like who's been snooping in your stuff uh say if you like lost something you might be able to figure out if someone had stolen it you'll see this command that i do right here slash coi you can also do the full form of it which is core protect inspect um, and as you see down here in the chat, it'll say inspector now disabled or enabled. So when it's enabled, you're actually able to check on nearly any container, chest, furnaces, hoppers, anything that you can put items into and take items out of. If I right click on this guy right here, you'll see all of the interactions that have happened. For example, let's look at this chest. I throw in all of my armor. Then if I click on this, you'll see that I interacted with it 0.03 minutes ago it'll say my name, it'll say what I added, it'll say the exact coordinates of the chest. Uh, you can see this little tooltip pop up. You won't actually be able to teleport to it, but you'll at least have an idea of what happened. So yeah, super useful tool. Uh, it also works not just on containers, but it also works on blocks. Say, okay, let's say I destroyed this block and now you're curious, well, who destroyed this block at my base? Now, what you can do is keep your uh, inspect tool open, right click with the block, and you can see that I broke this white stained glass. So it's super useful for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is player particles. So this one is actually one of my favorites, and I'll show you exactly why. So this one is actually very, very customizable. So you can do slash PPGUI, which is graphical user interface. It pulls up this convenient little thing. On this, you can actually add all of these different particles. So let's say you want enchantment particles, and then you want uh, to add a different style. So when it says style, it's like the arrangement of the particles as they float around you or do whatever they do. So there's all sorts of different particles and there's all sorts of different particle styles. And so you can customize this pretty much however you want to include like when you mine things, when you attack mobs, when you run around, uh, shoot arrows, all sorts of things. So I'll go ahead and show you this one. So right now, as you can see, I have this quad helix of enchantment particles floating around me. And that's just one of the particles. There's a multitude of others. And so outside of that player particles GUI, you can also just do it using command-based interaction. I'll go ahead and remove this for now, the slash pp remove, and I'll do slash pp add. And let's say this time I want to do crimson spores, and I want that to happen. Oh, here's, here's a good example. So this one says arrows, so that would be whenever you shoot an arrow or break a block, place a block, whenever you die. Uh, this one, feet, is for whenever you're just walking around fishing, when you catch some fish or something. Hurt, you could set it to, here, this is actually a great idea. So let's set it to heart and hurt. So, so let's say I jump off of this here cliff or whatever. Yeah, a little heart just comes off of here. So it's a cool little uh, effect that you can get. Like I said, there's all sorts of different particle effects, particle styles, and the customization is like pretty much limitless. So let's see, I'll do one that's like super cool let's do totem of undying companion so now i have this little quote unquote companion that's just following me around at all times i'll do dragon breath and let's do wings so now i have wings and i have a green companion and what's nice is if you pick the right particles they're actually really not that uh, intrusive personally i like to keep the particles as unintrusive as possible but you can experiment around with them and see what you like but uh, yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next feature which is wearing anything as a hat all you have to do uh, you can't really see it because of my texture pack but i'm holding a glass block and so all you have to do is you got to hold the block of choice or the item or whatever and you type hat and it'll be on your head. I think this kind of looks like an astronaut helmet, but 
yeah, pretty cool. There's a couple cool ones. You can play around with it. Like this one kind of looks like a crown. This one is actually pretty funny. Just makes you into a unicorn. Uh, but it's not just limited to these three things. Wear pretty much anything on your head except armor, I guess. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can wear that on my head. And so, yeah, it's kind of a cool feature. But yeah, let's go to move on to custom chat formatting. So this one it actually uses what's called mini message formatting. And you could look that up if you are confused. So that means all you need to do is these two bracket keys, caret keys. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but you get that and then you type whatever color or rainbow or whatever. So you'll see in, uh, in chat, if I type that now, it's like a rainbow. And so you got all these different formats that you can do. So hello, and it's red. And so just look up mini message if you want to like look at more message formats, that'll help you out. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to extra ender chest rows. I don't actually have an ender chest on me, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Donors get one extra ender chest row. Donor pluses, they get two more. Um, as well as that, you also get the ability to use Dynamap Hide, which is really nice for uh, if you just want to be hidden on Dynamap. So normally it's displayed right here, but if I go back into game, type Dynamap Hide, you'll see my player character disappears. And then it's just Dynamap Show to show it back up again. Uh, and that goes for donors and donor pluses. And then obviously, uh, custom rank in game. You get this, which uh, shows in chat, it shows in the tab menu, and it also shows obviously like when you walk up to a player. You can also do jukebox songs. Forgot how to do that command. So actually, uh, let's see. So. Uh, you can type in that jukebox command, which again, slash jukebox. It's going to show all these records that you have to choose from. So this is just a normal player perk, but as a donor, you actually have the ability to be able to broadcast these songs, which into so that command to do so is actually, you're going to want to find the number code uh, and you're going to type slash admin music play at a, and then just type that number, whatever it is. So. Again, if you go into that jukebox thing, uh, you can see, for example, Harry Potter, 24, Viva La Vida, 53, What You Know, 56. Like all those things, that's what you type. You're going to type admin music, play, at A, and then the number. And that's how you do that. That is pretty much it in terms of donor perks. There are a couple of donor plus specific perks. I was mentioning earlier the uh, extra ender chest row, but donors actually get two extra ender chest rows. Obviously they get a different rank. What's nice about uh, donor plus is you also have the ability to cross the world border. So as some of you may know, there is a world border at 3000. All of these like paths that are uh, drawn out past that, those are actually the work of Donor Plus members. So uh, yeah, that's been pretty much it. That is our uh, Donor and Donor Plus guide. If you have any more questions, obviously you can just feel free to at me in the Discord. But yeah, this has been Devoid. Thanks for watching and peace.